everybody and welcome back to Manifestation Budgets. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, today we're going to be putting the leftover money into savings challenges from the end of August budget and we are going to be kickstarting September's budget. Um, if you've watched my previous videos you will know that there's a bit of a life update. I am leaving work. Um, my last day in work will be the 4th of October and my last pay from that job will be the following Wednesday. So following on from that I will just be cash stuffing um, what's left over of my husband's income and any money that is left over from any universal credit that we claim. Obviously up until I sort out childcare and things and get new employment but for now I'm just going to be taking a little bit of a break. Um, we're focusing on trying to fully fund our 1k iris binder because our 1k iris binder can be distributed into all our different sinking funds and then we will have a great place to start off from um, as we move forward. So let's have a little look at what we've got left. So in food and fun we've got £15 and in our boys we've got 20 so that's 35 We've got no change this week and then we're going to put these envelopes to one side for a moment and we will stuff them for the week after shortly. So I have got a bit of a change up of binders. Um, I've still got my Christmas and birthday. Um, they're just off to the side. Um, I've got my short term sinking funds, my long term sinking funds and then my savings challenges I've changed. So they were in this binder. And I'm not getting rid of it because it's one of my favourite ones, but I'm going to bring that back probably around Christmas time and put my challenges in there. Uh, but for now, I am going to be using my yellow binder and it's had a bit of an upgrade. So this is my autumn challenges binder. How cute is this? I got these, um, is it you? UDTVF, UVTV, I can't remember what the acronym is for it, but I got these from the lovely Abby at Little Moon Budgets um, and I managed to stick them on myself. I'm quite proud. I think it's turned out all right. What do you think? Um, so yeah, it was just one, it was the magic binder that had all the Harry Potter challenges in is now my challenges binder for autumn. So yeah, my idea is I'll use this kind of in the autumn months, swap to the blue one for like Christmas and New Year, and then I'll probably swap to my pink one for kind of like spring, summer. Um, yeah, and then, you know, I may well change in the future, but this is my plan going forward. So we want to put this £35 into challenges. Um, and I've also popped in this challenge, I Know What You Did This Summer, which is from Little Moon Budgets, uh, because I, it's obviously summer's over, the kids went back to school today. Um, so I'm going to scratch one of these off. I'm going to use my little moon scratching tool from Little Moon Budgets. Um, I'll roll the dice and just see. He says three, so one, two, three. So I'm going to scratch it off and see what it says. I don't, I've not seen anyone play this yet, so I might be the first person to scratch off. So let's have a look. And see what it says. Hopefully I'm not knocking you too much. This scratch tool is good because it's got the little point so you can kind of get right in there. So save the temperature of the hottest day in summer. Oh god what was the hottest day in summer? Ooh. Okay I'm not sure what that is so what I'll do is I'll leave it for today. I'll find out what the hottest day was of summer and I will come back and cash stuff that next time. Oh, I'm excited to see what else the questions are. So yeah, we'll leave that for now. Um, we're going to jump straight over to our angel number saver. Some things have changed in this binder since um, I was last filming. So what we're going to do today is we are finished 666. We're going to finish 777 and put £20 in. Really want to get cracking with this. It's been going for quite a while. <sighs> And I do love it. It's right up my street, but we need to get this finished. So we've got 20 going in there today. So we've got 220, 40, 60, 80, 300. So I think it's 140 left to save in there. So we're on to 888 and we've already crossed off five. So we've got another 30 due to go in there. So yeah, let's focus on that. Um, I've popped in that it's just a phase challenge. You might have seen this on Budget with Bliss. This is from Eva at The Rocking Witch. Um, and I'm going to be using this for my um, spending money. Um, what I'll probably do is round it up if possible, just because um, I'm not going to have the right money. So it'll either be 15 would be the most. Then I would be doing 10. And then I would be doing... 10 so yeah or five if it's just a moon so yeah that's my plan um because i don't really want coins in this challenge so yeah it saves 296 in total so we're going to pop over to our little challenge from little moon budgets and this is the very special challenge 
and there is 5, 10, 15, 20 to finish it. We're just going to pop a five in today. Uh, we're going to we're gonna come back to challenges when we cash stuff. Um, so let me just get this out. I'll take out a fiver and I'll pop a ten in. So we've got 10, 25, 35, 45 in there. And then I've decided I really want to get some of my other challenges done. So I have now added the um, envelope here from um, Eva at the Rocking Witch in the um, chick flick box. And yeah, whoever said orange was the new pink was seriously disturbed. And this is a scratch off challenge and it saves 40. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scratch one off um, and then I'll see what it comes up to. And then I might have to round it up. So um, I'm going to go for this one. Oh, what have we rolled? So we've got a pair of heels. And that saves four pounds. So what I think I might do is pop the five in. And then next time we play, um, I'll just try and kind of round it up. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So yeah, that's a lovely challenge. Make sure we pop the fiver in. And then what I'll do is every time I finish one of these, I can put another chick flick one in this envelope. And every time I finish a Little Moon Budgets one, I can put another one in this envelope. Um, obviously, that'll take me some time to do because that'll be for saving money. Um, sorry, spending money savings. And then obviously, angel numbers is a big priority. And then we always account some money for pumpkin. So, yeah. Um, so the last fiver can go in the five saver. And this is from Little Moon Budgets. So, let's have another five. Give that a waft and let's see what we've got in here in total so we've got 10 15 25 35 45 55 65 75 85 um i might swap some of this out because i might need some so i swap four fives for one of these 20s um and then maybe another yeah another two fives and a ten for a twenty it just means that i've got more fivers for my cash stuff in this week uh which i think might be enough we can always come back and we can always get some money out of here if we need to i'm hoping i've done that right i think i have we'll soon find out when i count this cash so yeah that's all the money stuffed into challenges for the moment we'll get that binder back out in a second so cash stuffing for the first week of september uh we're going back to a little bit of a higher budget um to see us through the last um time that i'm in work and then once obviously i have finished work and i know kind of how much money we will have coming in the household we'll have to go on a really tight budget and um, so my cash stuffings will reduce again but like i say hopefully we will have sinking funds all topped up so today we're going to be cash stuffing 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 10 25 35 45 50 so that was right so i will pop the money in my little cash tray from little moon budget which i'm loving it just takes up so much less space than the standard ones that i had before um like i say we've got a lot of 20s because it was a cash machine job on the way home from work so it's probably not the best denominations so let's see what we can do um i want to go into christmas first because we scratched off for September and we did the 20 and there's another 30 for September. So I'm thinking I might just get that done today just so that I know it's done. And then I don't have to account for Christmas in the coming weeks. Um, give that a blow. So that means 30 is going in the main Christmas um, folder. So we normally do, I'm trying to budget maybe £30 a week. Um... So this way I can just finish off the scratch off and then any more money that's going into Christmas this month can go into the normal challenges. So in there now we've got 200, 300 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 370 saved out of the 500. Um, and then obviously there's, like I say, there's more money in the other, uh, I can't even speak. There's more money in the other Christmas challenges um, and hopefully it should all add up to about a thousand pounds if I've worked it out right. So Christmas has had 30. 
that's all it needs. Now, birthdays is something we're focusing on, um, but I want to probably fully fund that through uh, the iris binder. So for now, we're just going to put a 10 in just to keep it ticking over. Um, but yeah, I will fully fund this as soon as the iris binder is complete. Um, I need to start buying presents. Um, I booked the kids' birthday party. Um, I have put that on the credit card because it was like £200. Um, but I don't mind. It's interest free and I will pay it off um, when I have the chance. So yeah, just wanted that paid for. Um, so at least it's out of the way. Didn't want that to be a worry. So yeah, I just thought I'd get that done. So yeah, I will fully fund that, like I say. Um, because it needs another £90, I think, for presents. So, yeah, that's birthdays done. So, we've now got all this money, and because I don't really want to do sinking funds until I've done the iris binder, this money is all going to go into challenges. Um, so, I am probably going to complete a few of them today to go into the iris binder. So, we're going to first of all go to the back. We're going to complete the Fiver Saver from Budget with Moo. Um, so, we need 15 to complete this. Five... 10 and 15 so let's get the money out to make sure we've done that right so five and then we'll take 10 out no wait hang on is there a 10 no i've not got the 10 um right, let's just count it up because i need it in 20s really 20 45 actually right let's just do this <laughs> It should have saved 100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. There we go. That's an easier way to do it. So there's £100 now saved in that one. So that one will go in the iris binder at the end of the video. So we'll take that one out. That one's done for now. Oh, I've not even done my weekly envelopes. Oh, God. Right. I wondered why I had so much money to go into challenges. Right, okay, let's just reverse a little bit. Reverse, 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 okay. <laughs> let's start again. So food and fun normally gets 40 pounds a week. I wondered why I had so much for challenges. Thought that was a bit unusual. Um, food and fun gets 40 pounds a week. I'm just gonna stick to that for now because I think that works for us. Our boys, obviously they're back in school now. Um, so it's not the summer holidays anymore. So they're just gonna get a five pound each a week. Um, so there's three boys, so £15 is going to start going in there. Um, so they've got a five at each for anything that they might need. And then my spending money is going to get 20 uh, but we're going to do the It's a Phase Challenge. I can't believe I completely forgot that part of <laughs> the video. Honestly, right, okay. So let's give this a little roll. So let's see what we get today. So we've got a star, so a star is all typical, £12. So what am I going to use? I'm going to use a blue, I think. So let me just move this out of the way. So we've got a star, which is 12 And like I say, we are going to round it up. So we need to do a three, which is this one. Just means we'll get through it a little bit quicker and we will have loads of change and I don't have to mess about when I'm cash stuffing with um, the denomination. So yeah, I've been dying to do this challenge. Um, I was watching Katie complete it and she was doing such a great job. I really couldn't wait to get going with it myself. So uh, we need to put five, 10 and 15 into that challenge. And then that means we've got five pound for my spending. So yeah, we're gonna to stick to 20 pound a week for my spending for now. Um, obviously five today, because we're saving most of it, but that's fine. The only thing I'm planning to do this week is go to the cinema. Um, I really wanna watch Beetlejuice. I'm gonna go with my sisters. It's a film I've watched over and over and over since I was a child. I absolutely love it. So I'm so excited to go and see it at the cinema. Um, so I'll just need some money for snacks because I have got a free ticket for that cinema. So yeah, that should be absolutely fine. Uh, apart from that, it's just work and being at home. So we've done that. Let's see how much we've got left, how much we're meant to have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. That's more like it. So yeah, it's quite a lot going into challenges. It wouldn't normally be this much. I would normally be stuffing sinking funds, but it makes sense to get everything in the iris binder um, so that we can go from there. So we're going to finish very special from Little Moon Budgets as well. And we need 15 to go in there. 5, 10... 15 so it saves in total 60 so we'll do the same thing as we did before 
we'll just take 20, 40, 60. Just means we can put it in the iris binder a little bit better. So that is now complete. So I'm just going to move that to the side because I'm going to keep that envelope in there. Um, yeah, we've completed that one. So that's two challenges done. We've only just started that one. Um, so we don't want to finish that one. We need a new one in there. We don't want to do that one. So really, we've got... This is not going into Iris, is it? We've only really got the angel number saver. It's a little bit boring to just put it all in there. How much did I say we needed to complete it? Did I say 140? We've got 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105. So we've not got enough to complete it. Hmm. Tell you what I might do. I might do this 30 on this page. 10, 20, and 30. Oops, sorry. So yeah, I'll do the 30 on there. And we've only got two more pages to go. So if I get the money out and I add 20 and 30 to that we've got 200 20 40 60 81 20 30 um yeah no i'll do one more 10 because then that means i think there will literally be 100 left i'll just double check and check that i've done that right so if i put another 10 in let's see how much is left so we've got 10 25 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, 80, 90, 100. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that is £100 left to complete that. So we should be able to complete that next week um, with the cash stuff in. Um, also, if I have any bonus cash as well, which I may have, um, that will also go into here as well. And then we can get that because I think that will take us over the edge in the iris binder. What I was also thinking is of all these five is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. I'm thinking... Let me swap these fivers for three twenty pound notes. Put all them in there because I can swap this out when I have a game day. And then that sixty pound can go straight in the iris binder. And then I can put this last fiver in one of the challenges. Um, I don't want to put it in that one. Hmm. Should we have a look? Should we do one more scratch off on here? Yeah, let's do another scratch off on here and see what it is. We put five in, but it was only four. Um, let's go diagonal. Let's see? So, oh, we've got a glow book. Uh, oh, ten. Typical. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. That's fine. What we'll do is we will cross off. 10 yeah we'll cross off the 10 10 pound going in the challenge and then we owe it four pounds so when we cash stuff we'll put four pounds in there that's probably a better way to do it okay and then that's 60 pounds rather than it going in a challenge that's not going to complete i'll put it straight in the iris binder um yeah because then i can see how much we need because actually Let's count what we've got. So we've got the £60 left over from the cash stuff in. We've then got the fiver saver, which has saved £100. And then we've got very special, which has saved another 60 So we've got 200 So I'll just put, do a little picture of these to show we finish them. Um... They will go in my little box of challenges to give away. Um, so this means all this money can go in the iris binder. And I think when I last counted the iris binder up, I think I had £700. So this is actually going to really, really help. So yeah, let me just count it again. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20. Yes, we've got... We're nearly finished. We're nearly finished. Okay, let's let's see what we can do. I'm having a bit of an idea of what I might do, actually. Don't know if you'll agree with it, but let's just go with the flow. So, where's my yellow pen? 
How are we doing for time? We should be all right. Okay, so um, we can do, let's do what we did last time. So we can do the first 40. Oh, we need 10 pound notes. Okay, forget about the 10. So we can do the first 40, then we can do the 20, then we can do the 20, then we can do the next 40, then we can do the next 20, then we can do the next 40, then I can do the next 20, and then I can do the 20 down here. So let me colour that in. So we can do this 40 here. And we can do all these, 20, 40, got all these being coloured in, 40, then we can do 20, 40, sorry if you can hear the kids in the background, and 20, and then this 20. So we've only got 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 left to complete the iris binder. excited right okay let's go through and let's put as much money as we can in here so excited to get this done so excited uh, okay i'm gonna do this and then we'll talk through what i'm kind of thinking <laughs> okay 40 so 20 and 40 oh can't get into that envelope oh it's the wrong one that's why so we've got 40 going in there then we've got we can't do the 10, we skipped that one, didn't we? We've got 20. 20. 40. Fifty. Twenty. Forty. Oh, got to do it neatly. And then we can't do the tens, and then we can do the twenty. Okay. So we're nearly done. We're nearly done. What I'm thinking, guys, right? I'm kind of a couple of things are playing out in my mind. First of all, I'm thinking that the angel numbers challenge that we've been doing for quite a while was to cover the iris binder and passports. Now I think we do have enough, we do have enough in this envelope to finish the iris binder and fund the passports. So part of me is thinking, do I just end this challenge now, take the money out and put it where it needs to be? And then that means the iris binder is done and I can do another video where I'm reallocating the money from the iris binder. Or my thoughts are, which is a little bit back to front. Do I take money out of sinking funds to finish the challenge to then put back in sinking funds? Or is that a little bit dodgy? I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Um, I think the video is probably relatively long enough. So I tell you what, you guys let me know what I should do. Because right now I wanna completely unstuff this and I wanna finish the iris binder, but I don't know whether you feel like I should see this challenge through to the end, because it needs a hundred pounds. And next week I will have a hundred pounds to go into challenges. Do I complete it then? Finish the iris binder and do a reallocation, or do I unstuff it? Well, obviously today I'm filming, which is Wednesday evening. I'll put the video up tomorrow, which will be Thursday. Yeah, maybe if you guys let me know by the end of Friday. Yeah, let me know by the end of Friday what you think I should do. Um, and then I will do it in the next video. So I'll film at the weekend and get that done. So yeah, the choices are I conclude this challenge early without waiting until next week's cash stuffing. Um, and then put the money that needs to go in the iris binder in the iris binder and then the rest of it I can put in the bank for passports and then any extra can go to sinking funds or do I leave that where it is see it out finish it properly next week um do I take money out of sinking funds or do I just wait do I just be patient and wait you let me know what you think I'm just really I'm so excited to get the iris binder done 
Um, I've never had that much saved and I just can't wait to just get it all out, count all the cash um, and be able to allocate to sinking funds. Um, so yeah, I'm, let's pause it there. I'm not going to do anything yet. I will wait for you to let me know what you think. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do and yeah, I will be in the next video doing whatever you've directed me to do so yeah i'll see what you all think uh, thank you so much for joining me for another video um i'm so excited to get this stuffed um i will pop well clean these challenges off and pop them in my little box of tricks for you um and like i say i've got my spending money for this week um so let's see what we can roll over and then yeah anything that we can roll over can go into challenges or can go straight into the binder so yeah apologies for the little bit of a mess around video i did literally just withdraw the cash for this week and just wing it um yeah you guys let me know and i will catch you all in the next video take care guys bye